All right, it's our final section. Finally, our final section. 10.9 circumference and arc length. And if you were wondering, like, hey, man, could we get a couple more formulas in here, pretty please? You got it, kids. We will learn some more formulas in this section as well. They just don't stop. You can't stop till you get enough. And, and we haven't gotten quite enough until this section. I think we'll have had enough. It's like buying formulas in bulk at the Costco. All right, chapter 10 is the Costco shopping trip of geometry chapters. Okay, let's continue. All right, well, this kid looks terrified on a merry-go-round. Um, let's say it has a diameter of 25 feet. If the kid spins it three revolutions, how far will they have traveled? What what uh, formula would you need? Well, if it's when you're trying to figure out how far you're going around, you're using circumference, right? Circumference is 2 pi r. That's something that you should know. Or pi times, whoa, that was a terrible pi. Uh, let's see here, hold up. Pi times... There we go. Diameter. All right, area we don't need for this one, but area is pi r squared, in case you did not know that. All right. Well, if we're going to go around three times, let's see here. Well, my circumference of one of them would be, let's see here, c would be 2 pi, well, I guess I know the diameter, so how about I just go with pi times diameter? So 25 pi, which is like 78.54, uh, let's see here, 78.54, or, uh, so that would just be one time around, right? We want to go three times around. So times three would be 75 pi, which is approximately 235.5. Six one nine, so six two feet. Okay. Um, generally speaking, we are going to leave it in terms of pi in honors geometry. That's just you know the type of thing we do. All right, playing with circumference, it's like like it's a fun little thing you guys would do uh, in your free time on the weekend. You're like, you know what? I'm going to play with circumference, right? Not video games, not Fortnite. I'm going to play with circumference. Okay, yeah, because someone said that once. So if my circumference is 2 pi r, and I know that the circumference is 88, what's the radius? Well, we can just divide 88. It'd be 88 divided by uh, 2 pi, so 44 divided by pi is roughly 14. It's like 14.0056, so approximately. I'm going to do the approximately. Um, or we could leave it as 44 over pi. I don't know why we would want to leave it like that, but that's what this is right here. Okay. Here it says if the circumference is 24 pi, find the radius of the circle. Well, again, same type of idea. 2 pi r is equal to 24 pi. Cancel out my pi's. Divide by 2, I get r equals 12. Awesome. Let us continue. All right, down here, if the radius of the circle below is 12 centimeters, what is the circumference of the circle in terms of pi? Well, the circumference would be 2 pi times 12, so 24 pi. Now, what if I just wanted the red portion? Hmm. That would be like a third of it, right? 360 degrees in a circle, 120 is a third. Let's kind of let's let's try to generalize that a little bit though. If I just want that out of we have 120 degrees out of 360, right? Because what if I got like 110 degrees? I'm not going to know what fraction of a circle that is offhand. Like 120 is easy to see that it's a third. But again, if it was 100 or 110 or 107.35, I could still figure it out because I know that I want whatever out of 360, okay? That equals my arc length is what it's called, arc length, not arc measure, length is actual feet or inches or whatever, not just degrees, over my circumference, so 24 pi. Okie doke. Cool. 
that's uh that's pretty exciting. So we can cross multiply and solve. If I cross multiply and solve, I'm gonna get x equals. Let's see here, um, eight pi. Awesome. Or you could get the decimal version of that, whatever that is. But we'll generally leave it like this. Okay. So if I just wanted that red portion called the arc length, as we have up here, I could set up my wonderful proportion right there. And I would suggest writing that down. Let's write it in a general sense. It'd be arc, arc measure over 360 is equal to arc length over circumference, so 2 pi r. Okay, this formula you'll want to write down. We can actually do something similar with it uh, with area as well, um, where you would change your right hand side ratio uh, to being the sector area, we'll call it sector area, over your uh, total area. So we'll see that as well. All right, some people like to see it uh, this way as well. Arc length equals a fraction of the circle times the circumference. I am more of a fan of the of the proportion I wrote down. Again, it was um, arc measure, which could also be like your central angle like we had, over 360. So part over whole equals arc length over circumference. That says circumference there, I swear. All right, so part over whole, part over the whole thing equals part over the whole thing. All right, so we got to jot down a couple things here. In circle P, MN is 8, which means my radius. So if MN is 8, I'm going to jot down that my radius equals 4 because I know that's going to be important. Uh, the measure of angle RPN is 50 degrees, that's what's supposed to be there, right? That should say 50 degrees. Find the length of arc QMR. So we're looking for QMR, that whole thing right there. I want the actual length. Well, the measure of that, my measure, uh, would be what? Hmm. Well, I know that this is 90 degrees, right? And if um, RN arc Rn is 50 because my central angle is 50, then I know this is going to be 130, right? Because halfway around is uh, 180, so I subtract 50 out. So I've got 210, 210, or sorry, 220, as I'm writing it down, I'm saying it wrong, 220 for my arc measure. So if I'm going to set this up with the proportion that I like, I'd have 220 over 360 is equal to my arc length, over my circumference of 2 pi times my radius of 4. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and cross multiply. We'll generally want to leave these things in terms of pi. So I've got, um, I'm going to have to do some simplifications here, all right? And these are kind of large numbers, but your TI-83s and 84s are very good with that. First thing I'm going to do, just for my own well-being here, since I don't have a fancy TI-84, I'm going to write down that this guy simplifies down to 11 over 18. I can reduce it by 20, all right, for both of those. So I got x over 8 pi. Now I can go to work. I got 88 pi is equal to 18x. Divide by 18, and I sh should be able to reduce that. Let's see here. 88, I believe, is divisible by 2. So I get 44 over 9. That sounds about right. All right, so 44 over 9 pi is my arc length. 44 ninths pi. And I can multiply that out, get a decimal if I'd like, but we'll just leave it like that. Okay? So that's my arc length. My arc measure is 220. My arc length is 44 ninths pi. All right, let's find the complete perimeter of the figure. Leave your answers in terms of pi and whole numbers. All right, so this, uh, for those, like, it's a, I wish it was drawn a little bit better, but this is basically, like, 
a semicircle, a couple semicircles here, okay? That's what we're assuming here uh, in this one. If it were drawn better, it would be easier to see, but this will be a diameter that goes through, all right, even though it's not drawn that great. Okay, so basically what I've got are two semicircles plus those extra segments of three, uh, three inches, three meters, who knows what they are. All right, well, if I want my circumference of the outer one, I'd need my diameter or my or double my radius, so I got 10. So I get 10 pi for the outer circumference, but I want to cut that in half, so I get 5 pi, okay? And then for the inner one, that's 4 pi. But again, I want to cut it in half because it's a semicircle, and I get 2 pi. And then I also have to add in those 3 and 3, so I'm going to get 7 pi plus 6, and that would be my final answer for this one because it says in terms of pi and whole numbers. Okay, so 7 pi plus 6, as weird as that looks, that's what we're talking about for our perimeter of this whole thing. All right, I guess we call this the five-point question because it's because it's crazy. Um, and it's also crazily uh, imported here, so let's see what we got. This should be an arc and an arc. Um, sorry, the, uh, the formatting here has just absolutely got awful. It's so terrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. All right, anyways, let's see what we can do here. So I've got AC, is, arc AC is 2X plus 4Y. I've got arc BD is 4X plus 2y, and I've got angle AEC is 60, and I've got angle OABC oh, is 2x plus 25, x, okay, um, this is write a system of equations, solve for x and y, and find the two arc measures, all right, well, at least it tells us to do um, a system of equations, that's kind of nice, all right, so giving us some room to work here, let's do it. Well, what would my system of equations look like? Well, I know that angle B is half of arc AC, right? On angles are half of the intercepted arc. So I can write up an equation with that. Um, I'm going to do the route of doubling my angle. So 2, two times 2x plus 25 is equal to 2x plus 4y. So that's one equation. I'm going to simplify it right now and get everything how it should look for a system problem. So this is 4x plus 50 is equal to 2x plus 4y. Bring my x and y's over so I get 2x minus 4y equals negative 50. Cool. All right, so this is one equation for my system. My next one, uh, why don't I use those the uh, in angle with the two uh, arcs? So I know that, um, let's see here, 4x plus 2y plus 2x plus 4y over 2 is equal to 60, my in angle. And I can simplify this guy as well. I'm going to get, I'm going to multiply by 2 on both sides. Oops. And over here as well um, to cancel this out. So I'm going to get 4x plus 2x is 6x plus, let's see here, 6y is equal to 120. Okay, so there's my other equation. Now I can work this system off to the side here. Let's see, we've got, um, let's go here. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drag something away. All right, so 2x minus 4y equals negative 50. And then I've got 6x plus 6y is equal to 120. Okay, I'm going to go elimination route. I'm going to multiply my uh, top guy here by negative 2, or sorry, negative 3 rather. Uh, and my reason for that is so I can cancel out my x's. So I have negative 6x plus 12y is equal to... 150, positive 150. All right, got to watch those sign changes. So these guys are gone. I'm left with 18y is equal to 270. So I can divide by 18. And I get y is equal to, I don't feel like doing this right now in my head. Uh, let's see here, and my calculator's not coming up very fast. 270 divided by 18, 15. 
Yay. I guess I could have done that in my head. All right. So if Y is 15, um, that's one of the things. I also need to find X. Uh, I'll plug it into the blue equation. So I get 2X minus 4 times 15 is equal to negative 50. So I've got negative 4 times 15 is 60. If I add that over, I get 2X is equal to 10. So X is equal to 5. All right, I've solved for my X and my Y, right? I've got X equals 5 and Y equals 15. Oftentimes with systems, we do this. 5 comma 15. All right, could do that. Next, we want BD and AC. So if I want BD, I'll plug those in. I'm going to have, uh, let's see here, I'll do that in uh, black over here. So for BD, I'm going to have 4 times... Uh, let's see here, x, which is 5, plus 2 times 15. So I get 20 plus 30 is 50. So that's BD. And let's see if I can find a little space somewhere. Ah! How about I just try to shrink this one down? Oh, I guess I'm shrinking everything down. Okay. And then let's see here, AC. How about we go with blue on that one? I'll go with green. Um, so we got 2 times 5 plus 4 times 15. And that's going to be 60 plus 10, which is 70 for AC. The measure of arc AC is 70 degrees. Awesome. All right. And this guy was BD right here. Okay, that was 50 degrees. Whew! That was quite the doozy of a problem. Um, but a great way to review your algebra skills. All right. You guys have yourselves a lovely day here. Uh, we're going to pop over to the H-dubs. All righty, guys. So here we go. Um, again, don't worry too much about that stuff because those things change. Um, but there's our homework. Always good for a little bit of extra practice. Woo!